heavy towing with a Nissan Patrol. Apparently this is responsible for more intracranial bleeds than planning an actual moonshot. So perhaps we can turn this particular frown upside down. I'm John Cadogan from autoexpert.com.au, the place where Australian new car buyers save thousands of their brand new cars. Yes. Hit me up on the website. Nissan Patrol is kind of interesting to me, okay, because it's one of only two Nissans that a rational person would actually go out and buy. And it's the only Nissan currently on sale that an economically rational person would buy. The only other non-absurd Nissan is the GTR, and even then, it's a niche product, and you are flat out insane if you don't buy one of those used because they depreciate like stuck friggin' pigs. So, there's that. Every other vehicle in the Nissan portfolio is either an industrial-grade lemon or simply outclassed by the competition. They're in something of a rut, it's fair to say. But Patrol makes sense. It's a niche thing too, obviously, but I kind of get it. It's fairly bulletproof in terms of the engineering and execution, dating back to a design era when... Nissan was unburdened by the millstone around its neck that we know today as Renault. A Patrol TIL is certainly not a cheap proposition at about 100,000 shits billion micro pesos drive away, but it is relatively affordable compared with the king of mediocrity, a Land Cruiser 200 Sahara at about race for impact, 130,000 macaroonies. Wow. The Patrol is certainly less fuel efficient than the Cruiser, but you can in fact drive for decades in a Patrol before the dude in the Cruiser catches up with you financially in the context of what he saves on fuel incrementally. So there's that. The 30 grand you save up front on a Patrol buys you a shitload of fuel in advance, in other words. So... Here's the basic problem. Looking to buy a Nissan Patrol Y62 Series 5 Ti, I am confused with how a tow ball download of 250 kilos should be treated. I understand the deduction of 70 kilos from the payload for a 300 kilo ball and a deduction of 130 kilos from the payload for a 350 kilo ball. Where does the 250 kilo get accounted for? The GCM? It is my interpretation that you can have a 785 kilo payload with a 250 kilo ball weight. I have asked two Nissan dealers and they have no idea. I have rang Nissan twice for technical help and can't get a return call. Could you please advise? I plan to buy a caravan in the near future with between a 250 to 300 kilo ball weight. I wanted a vehicle with good power and to tow with ease. Okay, so just clearing up the main apparent problem here, there is 785 kilos of payload with TI Patrol, but 250 kilos of that is immediately eaten away by the tow ball download. Tow ball download is intrinsically part of payload capacity. So, in Brendan's case, he gets 535 kilos of remaining load capacity in his vehicle with a 250 kilo tow ball download applied. We're going to get into that in more detail a little bit later on, okay? But the pain in the ass with patrol and heavy towing is that Nissan is kind of cooking the books. They're forced to when it comes to tow ball capacity when you get to 300 kilos or heavier. There's a series of additional reductions in payload that you must accommodate if you do that, and this figure fudging causes a great deal of confusion among people out there in society who just aren't wired for that kind of thing technically or systematically. There's actually a great deal of uplifting debate in forums on this, which to me is kind of like reading the auditions for the next series of Dumb Shit Australia which is an excellent concept for reality TV, in my view, with so much raw talent out there. 
Here's an example of that confusion. Nissan head office customer service tells me that the vehicle has been engineered to accept the first 250 kilos without affecting the GVM. Any thoughts? Because it's one third of the carry capacity, which substantially reduces load capacity, affecting my van purchase. Okay, Bazza, my thoughts are, tow ball download is carried by the tow vehicle. So you are absolutely correct in that respect. It is a load, just like, I don't know, 250 kilos of bricks or something that you might put in the cargo bay. You cannot simply disregard it. The vehicle doesn't swallow it up and just shrug it off and go, yes. Engineering's not like that. I suspect that Bazza here has comprehensively misinterpreted what somebody at Nissan head office has told him about this. What they're saying is, in fact, that up to and including 250 kilos of download, you do not need to impose additional load restrictions. But when you go on forums, there's always a moron with internet access and a keyboard prepared to share his let's call it knowledge. Six years since release and this question gets raised and debated on the 62 Facebook page nearly once a week. Your tow ball weight doesn't affect GVM unless over the 250 kilos. In my view, dribbling of this nature really doesn't help. GVM is a limit which is imposed by the manufacturer upon that vehicle. And it's a line in the sand, right? It's the limit of all the loads imposed upon the vehicle. The vehicle's own mass, the fuel, the passengers you carry, yourself, the driver, the equipment you carry, the accessories you fit, and the tow ball download if in fact you are towing something. In the case of the Patrol, the GVM is three and a half tonnes, 3,500 kilos. That's for the TI and the TL. Of course, the TI is like 2,715 kilos, which is the tear weight, okay? The vehicle completely empty, except for 10 litres of fuel. And the TL is 2,750 kilos. That's basically empty, okay? Both of them. So you get 35 kilos more payload if you buy the TI and you save a few bucks into the bargain. So perhaps that's worth considering. 3,500 minus 2,715 in the case of the TI equals 785 kilos. That's the payload capacity for a fully loaded patrol TI. And you can figure all of this out by downloading the 22-page patrol brochure as a PDF from nissan.com.au. Unfortunately, though, Nissan are export-grade chumps, in my view, especially in terms of marketing and communications of that nature. And when you flick to the back of the brochure for the specs and look at the tow ball download, rather than just give you the friggin' numbers, all it says is, tow ball download kilos, see tow ball download table. And unhelpfully, they have seen fit not to provide that table. Not anywhere in 22 whole pages. Not that I could find, and I did have something of a detailed look. Which is kind of a massive marketing oversight in my view when you take into account the importance of towing to so many potential Nissan Patrol buyers. So I went to their equally useless website, which inconveniently does not have a search window. So thanks a lot, dudes. And then I went to Google playing my card of last resort and I searched Nissan Patrol Tobol Download Table. And I got a spec sheet finally as a PDF from a dealer for the previous generation of Patrol, which let's not forget is exactly the same vehicle minus the facelift. So I'm confident that these are current limitations. Here is that table. Up to 250 kilos, there are no additional loaded mass limitations imposed by the manufacturer. If you impose 300 kilos of tow ball download, however, you need to reduce the payload capacity of the vehicle by a further 70 kilos. And if you step up to 325 kilos, you need to reduce the payload capacity by an additional 100 kilos. And when you get to 350 kilos of download, you need to cut 130 additional kilos from the payload capacity. 
What they're essentially doing here, okay, is reducing the GVM incrementally as tow ball download increases at 300 kilos and beyond. And the place this plays out is the payload. It reduces the total of what you can carry sort of optionally in the vehicle. In the case of Brendan earlier with a 250 kilo ball load, he's got 785 kilos of payload capacity, okay, which we worked out earlier. And 250 kilos of that is the tow ball download. And there's not a whole lot you can do about that. So he's really got 535 kilos of payload in terms of people, equipment, luggage, accessories, and even additional fuel, okay? Fuel is important in the case of the patrol because Nissan quotes the tear mass, and that is the essentially empty mass of the vehicle carrying just 10 litres of fuel in the tank. And patrols have such massive fuel tanks. 140 litres of fuel in a patrol, which is great for range, but bad for mass. That means, right, with a full tank of fuel, you need to account for 130 additional litres of fuel at about 800 grams per litre. So what we're talking about here is an additional 100 kilos of fuel right there. That's a significant impost. And suddenly, we are going to be down to 435 kilos of actual optional payload. Let's look at it like this. Two adults and two kids, and not fat bastards either, fairly trim examples of the 21st century breed of homo sapiens, about 240 kilos, that'd be fair. And now, we're down to about 200 of actual stuff that you can carry. So... If you add a bull bar with a winch and a roof rack and a tow bar, perhaps a second spare wheel for outback travel, and put some tools in the back and maybe fit a second battery, you are going to be well overloaded. And that's a bit of a problem. It's even worse, though, if you enter 350 kilo download territory because you don't have 785 kilos of payload anymore. You've got to take off that 350 kilos from the ball plus an additional 130 specified in the somewhat elusive table which Nissan either intentionally or incompetently did not print in their freaking brochure. That's 480 kilos of payload reduction before you even put that additional fuel in the tank. So 785 kilos minus 480 is 305 kilos of actual load capacity. And of course, it's unlikely, I think you'd agree, that you would set off on that big trip around Australia with just 10 litres of fuel in the tank. So you top off the tank, and that's another 100 kilos right there, and we are down to 205 kilos of load that you can actually carry. A tow bar is going to weigh, I'm guessing, something like 25 kilos. So that's 180 kilos remaining. And if you weigh 80 kilos and your lovely wife is 60 and you're not taking any kids then you had better not stick more than 40 kilos of crap in or on the vehicle. Because if you do, you will be overloaded. So no bull bar, no driving lights, no roof rack, no extra spare wheel and tyre, etc. And I think you'd agree this is pretty friggin' unrealistic. So there's a couple of observations here. Number one. If you are ever on a forum and some dipshit suggests that tow ball download is not part of GVM, meaning it doesn't really contribute to the vehicle and what it's carrying, he's full of shit. If you are towing, the loaded mass of the vehicle is not to exceed the GVM limit, which is specified by the manufacturer of the vehicle. Tow ball download is absolutely part of the loaded mass of the vehicle it thus reduces your payload, right? Every kilo you add to the tow ball is a kilo you cannot carry as fuel or occupants or accessories or luggage, etc. It is a zero-sum game that you are playing. Number two, patrol's not really designed to carry more download than 250 kilos. 
These kinds of gross reductions, these further reductions in the table are an example of extreme engineering compromise to achieve a competitive position vis-a-vis -vis tow capacity, which is kind of required by the marketing department because vehicle manufacturers are in this absurd arms race with each other. And three and a half tons is viewed as, I don't know, the gold standard or something. Certainly the vehicle will tow up to three and a half tons, okay? But the heavier you go, the more absurd and impractical this compromise becomes. Just look at it on fundamentals, okay? The more mass that you hang out the back, like the bigger the boat, the trailer, the van, whatever, the more potential that mass has to nudge the vehicle dynamically with potentially disastrous consequences. And if you've seen any of those dash cam videos, you will know what I mean. And you don't want to be hanging on to the wheel when the trailer takes control. It's quite serious. In my view, it's a really bad idea to tow any trailer that is heavier than the curb weight of the vehicle which is doing the towing, okay? Coincidentally, this is about that two and a half ton ballpark in the case of the patrol. I wouldn't be towing anything heavier than about 2.7 in a patrol. It's borderline irresponsible for manufacturers to allow more than that, in my view, and ditto state and federal governments when they regulate the road. Given how zealously they prosecute things like speed and alcohol and seat belts, and I'm not having a shot at that, we need regulation on the road and we need compliance. But this seems to be under-regulated to me, grossly so. If you want to tow three and a half tons responsibly, you really need a truck with a curb weight of like four tons or something. And I'm talking about an actual truck, okay? Not a pickup. I'm talking literally, not in the vernacular. Anything else, in my view, is just way too much of a compromise for your safety and the safety of everyone else on the road around you. And finally on this, just to answer Brendan's final question, right? Tow ball download is not part of gross combination mass. Gross combination mass is just the loaded weight of the trailer plus the loaded weight of the vehicle. In the case of the patrol, not to exceed 7,000 kilos. And of course, having had fun in the past, right, occasionally, I can tell you that driving a seven ton patrol trailer combo to Dingo Piss Pass or something would just not be fun. It would be just this side of ridiculously dangerous and also quite stressful in retirement. Who needs that? If you're thinking of doing this kind of thing, and I'm looking at you Land Cruiser dudes as well with your long grey beards and your forum participation, limit yourself to a much safer, easier and more conservative two and a half ton caravan, right? If you cannot package everything, you need to go away for a few weeks into a two and a half ton box. Stay friggin' home.